All good, awesome. I'm gonna drink some beer and fight this thing drunk. I'm gonna drink a couple of them actually. Oh boy. Oh, it's all getting wavy. Oh my. <laughs> that works, yes, exactly. When fighting a gigantic ice dragon, don't forget to drink beer. Who doesn't like a cold beer, you know? And there he goes again. So now, second stage, he should appear down there. Eat my dust. That's it, keeps you warm and you will think you are the best. I'm all about it. The cannons have been adjusted. This time we'll bring it down. For good. Here it comes. Fire Destroy fire. it! Oh! Boom! Nice. Oh, this is good. I love the big boss fights in this game. All right, so we need to escort golems. I'm not going to get down into the mire there because I'm too low level. <laughs> I will die. Yeah. So we need them to start sending their golems down, and I will try to protect them. Because it's that wave of cold. Watch the That's going to hurt down there. Right, there's a golem. Oh my god, there's a lot of people down already. Alright, need to start taking down these ice pillars. No, oh god, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, no, no. Jesus. Yes, yeah, more beer. I agree. There we go. Another beer. Ow, again, again, Jesus.
I'll try switching to the axe instead. The axe might be better for this. Ooh, cold. Yeah, I told you we'd go down a lot. <laughs> okay, he's down. Nice. Do this. Right, I'm gonna go into death shroud mode. is more difficult. how close it is to being killed. Hey Deepus, how's it going? I'm just going to get in the middle here and try to res some people. That might be better. Oh god, we're nearly dead. Oh, down. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. There we go. It, dead. Okay. They killed it. Never mind. <laughs> cool. I'm doing good, thank you very much. Alright, so, got some loot. And we got a bunch of stuff from the dragon chest. Nice. What did we get then? Got a Shiver Peak Trident. And that is a lot better than the one I'm using. I can't use spear guns, so that's pointless. Tasty scale fins. Ooh. That doesn't sound very tasty. I know what a scale is, and that's not a tasty looking creature. Berserker apprentice pants, not as good as what I'm using. Alright, I'll open all the chests later. Going to lurk, no problem, thank you for the lurk. Take care of yourself. And we're up to level 73 now. Nice. So there's actually a vendor here as well that you can uh, speak to when this is all done. You get all the different recipes. But they're all level 80s anyway, so... Alright. 
Well, we're in a place where we're not supposed to be. Well, technically, I suppose we can. This is a level 70 to 80 location, so... We'll run around in there and finish off this heart first, though. Uh, this map, sorry. We're so close to finishing it off. And we've cleared this side of the ridge. All right, I'm going to go here, and we're going to clear that way and back down this way. We're about 10 minutes away from break. So I'm not sure if my wife's going to actually join us today. We'll see. Uh, kill hiding spiders, gather red cap mushrooms. And destroy spider webs. Oh god, what? Oh god. I can ride my red panda now, I'm... I'm tiny. <laughs> Summon all the huge minions! We've gone all Alice in Wonderland now. Oh, that's right, we can crawl inside of these now. Scatter all the spiders. That's right. Gather a red cap. You can crawl into the spider dens. It's 12 out of 19 renowned hearts. Ooh, the rest aren't all in there. I must have missed a few. So. Scout, I haven't clicked on. Hmm. Our deeds are reflected in a dream. Preserved red cap. Break stake. So there is point of interest down there. Oh, fire elemental was up. I could have gone and done that. I like that boss. It's a quick kill. And then Admiral Covington. Don't like that one. And then we're back to the jungle worm again. Uh, help lost hounds. Play with the pups and kill the pests. Play with pup. Oh, they're cute. These things. Little tree wolves. Wait, come back here. You will be played with. Killing pests must be the mosquitoes, right? Yes. And larva. Destroy. Uh.
jar of ooze. That's a collectible. Do I have that one? Apparently not. Part of the Uncanny Canna collection, right. So yeah, we need to keep looking out for more of those in the future. A lot of these I missed when I was first playing the game. Didn't bother really looking at everything. Sister up there. So I'm still finding a bunch of them by doing a new character and making sure every time I go to a heart vendor I check what they have. So burn undead corpses, smash noxious plants, tech wanderers, battle the risen inlet. That's on this side, I bet. Yeah, noxious plants. Destroy. Oh, oh, there was a grub. Ew. I resurrected that guy and he turned into a grub. Or rather, one popped out of him. Disgusting. Disgusting. Too strong. Flailing went. Are you seriously throwing shit at me? Fine, die. Oh. The rest of them showed up. Get smashed. Burn the corpse. Ah, huh. cool, done. No junk to sell. Gonna need to clear out my inventory soon as well. Ooh! Ooh! I got another thing for my sky scale. Nice! I need to feed my sky scale these treats. Uh, there it is, raising sky scales. I need to find all these different treats by fighting different types of enemies. I found one so far was bat wings or whatever it was, or bat treat. Bat flesh. Yeah, there it is. Tasty bat wing. I have one of those, now I have a spider leg. So I'll have to go put that in the bank and then I can move it over to my other character. Nothing else down there, so go this way. This is a jumping puzzle, by the way. You've got to hop across all this shit <laughs> to get to the top. Of course, I don't have to do it now done it. So, 
Feet the risen, burn corpse of stomp corrupted grub holes. More of the same. So yeah, you can see these guys here are going for the jumping puzzle. Or this guy, rather. There's a couple of them. Let's see how well they do. Oh, they're doing decent. Oh, that guy just goofed. <laughs> And that guy just goofed as well. Yep. Jumping puzzles are like that. They're, they're kind of annoying. Refreshing. Boom. Done. Alright. And then... Take a blossom. Double click to consume and gain the hero point. Sounds good. And a level. Ooh. Mushroom pizza? Ew. Zucchini bread. Cherry almond bars. Get that uh, waypoint as well. Ding! It's all the waypoints discovered. Nice. What is this? Oh, not mind them. That guy dealt with it on his own. Level 6 dealt with it all on his own. Well done, lad. You forgot it's Friday today. Yes. It snuck up. I, I seem to have lost Wednesday and Thursday. I don't know where they went. They just pfft, buggered off. And I have absolutely no idea how or why, but well, okay. Off from work since it's 1st of May. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Okay, I think there's got to be something up here. Oh, there's also a hero point and a thing up there as well. Oh. Oh, right, I'm not allowed to mount in this area because it's a jumping puzzle. These guys are still trying to do it. You are not disguised as a member of the Nightmare Court. Oh. Oh, okay, that's part of the heart. There's a heart vendor over here. Somewhere. Here. Let's just kill this guy, because I've just aggroed everybody in here. Refreshing. Destroy. No? We live in dangerous times. can I do to help? Okay. Let's just... Here we go. Right. They'll send us in there as a member of the court. Yeah. 
Yes, but disguised as a Silvari. Been working your ass off today, trying to clean up the kitchen as good as you can and getting rid of the stuff. Oof, yes. So we need to speak. Our inside defeat duelists and reassure the hounds and clear thorn barriers and help the captain. Weak points, what are these? Do I need to deal with those? Destroy them, yes. Let's duel. Sucker. And there's a Risen Thrall in here. Why is that? Play with the pup. Oh. Play with the pup. There we go. Do this. Blap. <laughs> Dead. Console the pooch. So when I've done this, we're going to take a break. My wife's actually just gotten up, so uh, she's been sending me messages saying that she's just getting up. So she'll be able to join us soon. There we go. Ding! We got tutorial as well. Nice. So just give me a moment here while I... So, how do I get to this hero point? It's up here somewhere. Oh, we can't mount in here either. Oh, okay. That was easy. <laughs> Damn. I wonder, can I glide in here? I can. Good. That would have been painful if I couldn't. The dreamers break so easily. Alright, out we go. You'll be safe on my watch. No junk to sell. All right. I still have stuff I haven't found in here. There's a few more hearts, but there are these guys. Oh, I think there's an area over here. I haven't been? No. Why does it want me to speak to these map scouts? Most point me towards some of the hearts. The saga sword Quaggins and Hazupal Grounds High that one. all that keep the crate from complete dominance of Quetzal Bay. Neither can truly stand against the Oh, crate. there's a whole area up there I haven't done. Fear in the affairs of outsiders, but protecting the bay benefits us as well. We'd be indebted to anyone who brings peace to these waters. Okay. Well, that's a lot of stuff I haven't done. Well, since my wife's up, I'm going to go and uh, travel back to maybe Lion's Arch, I guess. We'll take a break and give her time to get on and join us. 
close this. All right, well, it'll load. It takes a while to load into Lion's Arch. I want to put some music on, guys. We're going to take a five minute break and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so let me uh, find my playlist. There it is. Got, uh, since we got bugs in the cupboards, uh, I think it's the flower bags. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Good luck finding the sauce and destroying it. All right, guys. Five minute break. I'll be back then. And soon afterwards, my wife will join us. Okay, so don't go anywhere. I'll see you soon. Okay, so let's just check a few things here real quick. And joining us is my lovely wife. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm oh. tired. Oh, <laughs> oh you, had a, you had a long day yesterday, though, didn't you? We drove almost or a little over <laughs> 700 kilometers. Whoa. Damn. And I, and I did about half the driving. Yeah? Wow. <laughs> we were, uh, we went almost all the way to Saskatchewan. <laughs> yeah, when you told me where you were on the map, I was, and I had a look, I was like, whoa, you've gone way, <laughs> way to the east there. Yeah. yeah, mom didn't, I don't think she realized how far it actually was to where she had asked to go. <laughs> oh, my right. mother's birth. It was my mother's birthday yesterday. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, to get out of the house, we just went for a drive to into the desert, the Alberta mm -hmm. desert. Um, yeah. We saw a lot of antelope, which cool. is very nice for considering how early in the spring it still is here. Mm -hmm. um, it got to 24 degrees in the desert. We were dying. <laughs> at home when we left, it was only just barely like 10 or 11 degrees. And uh, yeah, so I had like a whole set of long johns on. I figured uh, it was going to be cold in the desert. Yeah. And it was not. <laughs> well then, desert being all yeah. kinds of tricksy. Yeah, well, I mean, desert being desert, but mm -hmm. in Alberta, you just never know. Exactly, yeah. But we had chicken wings and mm. potato salad and yeah, awesome. it was really good. Good stuff. But it was a very, very long drive. Hmm. I can imagine. Yep. Well, I didn't get home until like ten thirty. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, I realized this morning when I got up, I thought, you know, I should have maybe left you a note to say since it was a long day, you know, let me just let me know if you want to lie in or anything, you know, and just remember it's Guild Wars Day tomorrow and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, yeah, I didn't well. realize it was Friday until <laughs> I woke up and saw your your note from this morning. And then I was like, oh, shit, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to have gotten up. Yeah, well, it's fine. We, we 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 both didn't check with each other to remind each other, so it's fine. I, I, well, I, right I, after know. we, Get right after we traded those last messages, I actually dropped out of service, so yeah. I couldn't have texted you even if even if, yeah. and then after that I was driving. So yeah, I, well, I figured actually because I, I thought when I sent you them last messages and then you, there was no reply, I thought you probably lost signal. You know, given the fact yeah. that you're way out there in the sticks, yeah. Oh, it was beyond the sticks, I'll tell you. The, <laughs> the town of Jenner has, like, one store and one wow. school and, like, two houses in it. And, yeah. and that's, that's it. I looked at it on the map, and it's, it was literally, like, you know, three street by three street grid. And there were, like, four or five buildings on the on Google Maps in there. And I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. They got nothing there. That's a town? That wouldn't even be a well, town they, here. <laughs> they're, they're one gas station still mm. has and it's technically illegal in this province but they still have the old style pumps where you go to the pump mm -hmm. and you fill up and then you have to go inside to pay oh right okay those pumps are illegal in this province now really? but that particular gas station is so old and it's mm. so far out there that apparently they've gotten away with not having the updated pumps where it's all pay at the pump right yeah where you have to put your credit card in first wow. but uh yeah, that it was just like something. It was like being in the eighties <laughs> again. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, because here you, anyway. you, we've, we've got pumps like that where you can pay at the pump, but there's but they're optional as well. Like some of them will have an option where you can click a button and it's like pay at the pump or pay in the, the kiosk, you know, in, in the uh, in the actual building. So yeah. if you push that, you have to wait for somebody at the kiosk then to look over and see, okay, yep, and then they'll push a button, and when they do, a camera takes a picture of your license plate. So, you know, you can't just pump and run. Yeah, no, they don't do that. If you if you have to pay inside, like, because you have cash, you have to go in and prepay. Yeah. So you have to give them, like, 60 bucks, and then try mm. only to fill for 60 bucks, for example. Yeah. So, because um, we had... Being a gasoline, uh, oil and gas province, uh, you know, kind of a big deal here. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was there was just too much theft and stuff, so they actually made it a law that you pay at the pump or you don't pay at all. All right. Oh, interesting. Get, get gas. Yeah. So whereabouts are you? Uh, I'm in Lions Arch. I was just clearing out my inventory during the breaks. So I filled it up. Uh, basically, I've run through... Um, when I got started, the first thing I did was do the Great Jungle Worm. <laughs> so, up in Caledon oh, yeah. Forest. And I thought, well, we've only got that tiny little bit in that corner at which my swamp unlocked. So I've pretty much done nearly all of Caledon Forest, apart from three hearts and a uh, point of interest. Which, uh -huh. I've lo which I've located. And we oh, I did uh, Claw of Jormag. For everybody, I uh, let them see uh, the Jormag fight, the Claw of Jormag yeah. fight. So that was pretty good. Good. Uh, but yeah, my inventory was very full after that. <laughs> so I just cleared out at Lion's Arch, and I'm just by the Mystic Toilet. So if you want to join me here, we can actually go and do the story now, because I've got level 60 and 70 story ready to unlock. I'm level 74 after all this. Nice. I will bring in Asia then, because I don't mm -hmm. want to advance the story on Aranazu. Okay. So, I will bring my lovely, lovely Silvari. Mmm. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> How is everybody in chat this morning? Uh, Deepus is just going to go and make some food, actually, and says hello. Have you got your chat open, or did you not get time to set that up? I did. Oh, you did. Do, awesome. But Good. It's, it's, there's lag. Yeah. There's a bunch of lag on the video anyway. So. I've just realized I didn't unmute the game. There we go. <laughs> Been sat here in silence. Well, that's no good. I know. Terrible streamer. Not professional no at all. Yeah. You said you're by the Mystic Toilet? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, there you are. Ah, hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do I need to go for this? Oh, we're down in Blood Tide Coast at the Order of Whispers place, so... Anything you want to get done before we head off? No, not on this character. No? Okay. Let's I'm see. Good. Um, I'll link the waypoint in guild chat for you. This is the right one, I'm sure it is. And I will see you there. Yeah, that should be it. Okay. Yeah, to get the, the, to the Claw of Jormag, I had to uh, go to... Where was it? Oh, I've forgotten which zone it is now. Which links to it. I finished doing Snowden Drifts, or some of Snowden Drifts, um, so I went to the one where you connect from Snowden Drifts into yeah. the neighbouring region, at uh, the top of Wayfarer Foothills, and I had to run through all of that along the top to then go into Frost Gorge Sound and run through all of that to get to the Jaw Mag fight, because I didn't have a waypoint up there. Don't you have the world boss portal device? 
I do. Oh, I didn't put it on this character though. It's on my uh, norm. You need to. Yeah, you need to have that up in in your shared inventory slot. Yeah. And then you would have just been taken there immediately. Yeah. I could have done that, but I chose to be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. As is my way. Yes. I've been looking at my uh, uh, build as well that I want to do for my Necro, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at the uh, Condition Minion Master build that I think you oh, yeah. pointed out to me, so I've been making sure that everything's going kind of in line with all of that. Well, good. I just need to unlock the Scourge Specialism now at level 80, and I'll be good. But for the most part, I've been setting things up as I should, according to the guides, so... Problem. You are, Agent. Go find your partner, Tibble, and then report for your briefing. Very dark in here. Yep. I know to think these people were all secret, shadowy individuals. The script are thankful. The script. Fight hard against these evil creatures. The dragons are a threat to everyone, Fatak Chak. I'm glad your village has joined the fight against them. We're small, but we have no fear. Squid will be good friends. You'll see. What are you waiting for? You've a briefing to attend. All right. Talking is good. Let's talk. Good, Baldwin Cleaver. Thanks for the help. Wanted to thank Order of Whispers too. New friends, lots of thanks. What happened at the Script Village? We make a new scratch. A new home, and we mourn for the dead. But I remember debt, debt to you. What will you do now? Now stay nearby. Uh, keep watchful eye. When you need script, we will come to your call. Cool. Okay. Oh, can't speak to any of these. There's Demi. Hi, Baldwin Cleaver. Long time no see. I think the prefects are waiting on you. Okay. Oh, I've got a, an email as well from Logan. I'm recruiting the script. I heard about your adventure in script country. Congratulations on receiving them, uh, recruiting them to our cause. Experienced infiltrators, okay, thieves, will be um, an asset against an elder dragons. Uh, don't dwell on losing the script scratch. Homes can be rebuilt. The important thing is that you saved lives and secured their help. As for me, I'm heading to an old friend Cadacus's estate to support Queen Jenna as she meets with the Char Ambassador. There's a chance that Zoja may be there, but I don't expect a joyful Destiny's Edge reunion. In fact, I'll be lucky if she doesn't punch me in the knees. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> yeah. Punch in the knees, my goodness. This is cool. Oh, it's a printing press. Yeah, it prints maps. Nice. Barely enough to save lives. Your gentle nature is your failing. Up there you are, Agent. Please follow me to the briefing. Hi, Tibalt. Good to see you, Charm. I was just talking to Real. Uh, we need to get to the briefing. What were you talking to Real about? Uh, the last mission, the stuff that happened in the village, it was pretty grim. I mean, we saved the villagers, but... Hmm. What do we got to reply with? So without us, would have been much worth. Or the order won't abandon them. They'll re uh, relocate and be fine. Compensation is a fine thing, never lose it. Alchemist, hello! <laughs> if I want your opinion, I'll bribe it out here with quesadillas. Mmm. Hey, fire buddy. Alright, without us it would have been much worth, I'm gonna go. Uh, even if we fail, we shouldn't stop trying. Not ever. That's the spirit. Uh, oh, it's back this way. This is the barracks. So how are you today, alchemist? We have a situation of critical importance. We've lost contact with Yang Ison, one of our agents in Lion's Arch. I fear he's gone rogue and turned against us. If so, 
He could be taking a lot of secrets with him. The very heart of the order is in jeopardy. I plan to send two of our best operatives to track Yang down. Was Yang aware of the Master's true identity? I don't think so, but it's possible. We had to trust Yang a great deal in order to move him into a prominent position in the city. Agent, it's time to promote you to Lightbringer, our highest class of operative. Congratulations. Too After three days, I'm already at the highest control. class. We're relying yeah. on you to handle this situation. No trouble that Tybalt and I can't handle. If Yang Isens betrayed the order, we'll see he never shares what he knows. Real. Brief the operatives, then return to Lion's Arch and continue in your guise as the Commodore's assistant. Keep an eye out for anything unusual. By your will, Preceptor. Try to find some, you know, more covering clothes. Yeah. Why do you hurt in places you didn't know you could hurt, Alchemist? Oh dear. What have you been doing to yourself? Have you been doing some of that inadvisable activity known as exercise? My goodness. Tibalt. Yang Eisen sounds like a snake. Uh, one the Order could use, but like a snake, he could turn at any time. Agreed, we need to find him, blah blah blah. Okay, we've already oh, spoken moved to in him. apartment, that's right. Oh, yes! Your girlfriend's all moved in now, hey? Excellent! How's that going? Yang, I send the name's familiar. My father used to sponsor his beasts in the arena. Tyrion needs us more than ever. I agree. I'm glad that uh, you, Tibbs, oh, Tibbs, oh, she's got a nickname from now, Tibbs, are with the Order. We'll find a way to stop the dragons. What have you been learning here? Code cracking, infiltration, and espionage. Maybe one day I'll take a position at Lion's Arch and spy on the system like real. Good. Cat hates the dog, huh? Well, oh, you have dear. to give them time mm -hmm. and, you know, introduce them carefully and... Yep. They'll get on eventually. Yeah, but they'll eventually realize, okay, you're in my space now. I suppose this is the thing. Cat's an asshole. Well, you know, that can be said it's a cat. <laughs> for many key lines. Yes, it is a cat. What do you expect? <laughs> None of the cats I ever owned were assholes. Oh. <laughs> All right, Lightbringer, now I can answer those burning questions of yours. Tell me about Yang Ison. He was born and raised at the uh, uh, Canthan areas of Divinity's Reach. He worked at the gladiatorial arena until he was injured. How? Defending an animal, actually. He beat to death the old keeper of the beast in Lion's Arch for abusing them. Wow. Yeah. And how did the Order get involved? We helped him hide the body, of course. <laughs> okay. Then he got the job of, as the new keeper of the beasts and became our eyes and ears in the arena. Is he really that dangerous? Not by himself, but simply because uh, he would not turn his coat except for someone he felt was superior. We would not have had our agents ending up in their hands. Uh, well, we would not have one of our agents ending up in their hands. Okay. Let's talk about something else. What does Yang Ison know? Is he a danger to the Master of Whispers? We don't know. He was a clever one, and I often caught him snooping around the Chantry, best not to risk it. Need to know. He's a commoner cheat, but I thought Yang had morals where the dragons were concerned. A pity. Tybalt could handle this one alone, why send both? Together you and Tybalt can handle anything. Alone? I'm not so sure. Tybalt's a good friend and a great agent. He's got a good heart, but don't let friendship cloud your judgment. Tybalt's still rough around the edges. Okay. Why do you mistrust him? It's not mistrust, it's... I just don't have the confidence in his work that I have in yours. Now, don't you have a mission to attend to? Okay, fine. Uh, Doreen. Yang was a solid agent with a purpose. He never leave his animals if something has happened. How well did you know Yang? I recruited him, trained him. He was a hell of a slime ball, but one of the best con artists. Uh, you don't think he's defected? Never. Not out of altruism, mind you. I always knew uh, the going price, and I paid him 5% more. Uh, could he have been kidnapped? 
possibly but doubtful, he knew very little his animals were worth more than any ransom. Okay. Should probably see a chiropractor. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't, yeah, I mean, if, if resting up doesn't let those pains go away, if you think you've twinged something, might be worth looking at. Can't wait for mine to reopen. Oof. They're talking about in the next week or two, there might be some limited reopenings of some stuff, so... Um... They just reopened our parks today. Oh, like, really? No, I'm, not talking about, I'm not talking about playgrounds, but hmm. like the national, national parks. parks. yeah. And the provincial parks, they're reopened today, but only the hiking, you can't go camping yet. Yeah. So basically just go in, do your thing, come out again. Not, not, yeah. not stay there, yeah. Because I'm an American, can't afford insurance to go see one. Oh, yeah, there is that. Your last mission was dangerous. Are you certain you're up for another so soon? Uh, the dragons aren't going to stop because I'm injured. I'm ready. Or oh, absolutely, the world won't save itself. Oh, that's that's very much what Baldwin would say. Kind of you to worry, but we can handle anything. No, absolutely, the world won't save itself. I have to save it. Your confidence is admirable. Your sense of humor is even better. Uh, what are the mission details? Yang is the keeper of beasts in Lion's Arch. Uh, whether for fo uh, whether for back alley pit fights or the grand gladiatorial pit, he's your man. What's a keeper of beasts? Is the person responsible for training and fighting animals used in the gladiator fights? That gives him a lot of access and prestige, doesn't it? Precisely, but it makes him a target for anyone disappointed in the fights. Yang Eisen is missing, and he has many enemies. Got it. Good luck, Lightbringer. Thank you. We'll keep you posted. Okay. I think there's anyone else to talk to? Nope. Okay, cool. Okay, we need to go to Lion's Arch. Looks like we're all the way up at the Eastern Ward Waypoint. Okay. okay. You want me to link it? No, I got it. Okay. Oh, by the way, you know the Skyscale stuff? Yeah. Uh, you've got those treats to get, and it's, they're mostly dropped by champions. So yeah. I've actually just been running around fighting stuff already picked. Oh god, I've got a error. Hang on. Okay, good. No, it's not dropping my connection. Uh, I've already got three um, things for that now, just by running around and getting them, and I haven't fought any champions. So yeah, they drop from regular mobs, even yeah. despite what the wiki says. I actually have them all. Oh, oh well, okay. I was feeling really proud of myself, but okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I finished that part. Well, guys, can we get a round of applause in chat for my wife? I also have <laughs> all of the toys except the grow lamp. Yeah, me too. And uh, I, I will be doing the last bit of feeding today. Cool. As well. I only have enough crystals to do one round of feeding. Uh, I've done one already. But uh, I only have enough crystals to do one more, and then I'm going to have to keep uh, harvesting some. Well, you know you can come to my zone and harvest from my node. Yeah, can I? Oh, thank you. Yep. Of course, I have to be <laughs> online when you do that, but then I mm -hmm. guess you're going to be spending some time in Dry Top. Aren't you lucky? Oh, yes. Lucky me. It would be nice if every time I go to Dry Top, the, uh, the map has become like, uh, rank four or whatever it is, you know, like the uh, mm -hmm. the assistance level, because then that script then opens up as well in the sand in the last ten minutes of the sandstorm for the uh, script queen, and there's a rich yeah. node in there. Every bloody time I've gone, it's never been opening. It's like ah oh, yeah, <laughs> it only ever seems to get to tier three. Thank you for the claps and the and the grats, Belson. That's nice. <laughs> Okay. No sign of Yang. You check the top floor. I'll head for the basement. Okay, check the top floor. The bed has been slept in recently. It's uh, unmade. Okay. 
Wardrobe contains heavy leather clothing, the kind mercenaries and animal keepers would wear. Ledger contains details of creatures for the arena. Uh, there's one column for creatures captured, another for creatures sold. Look at the captured look. Lately, Yeng captured rock dogs, breeze riders, and shelk. Uh, skelk. 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 Uh, the last capture was from a few days ago. No capture type is listed. Sold. There's only a recent entry, a variety of gravelings from Ascalon. Okay. Lightbringer, I think I found something. Oop. There's a tunnel beyond this pile of rocks. Help me clear it and we'll see where it goes. Your power flows through me. This place is a mess. Yang always took care of his enemies. Something's gone very wrong. Ew. I feel as nervous as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Stick close to me, okay? How does he just stand there? Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh god, rock dogs. Ison used to put on big gladiatorial contests with his beasts. I heard he even sponsored a few of the old Destiny's Edge bouts. This must be where Young kept his monsters. He took really good care of them. Better than his employees, that's for sure. No sign of him, though. Would he abandon all these animals to starvation? No way. Like I said, Yang liked animals better than he liked people. He was always looking for new creatures to train. I wouldn't be surprised if he finally found something he couldn't tame. Very possible. Maybe something in the cages will give us a clue to what's happened to him. Hmm. Oh, we're still getting attacked. Dun dun dun. Well then. That's him. It's Yang Eisen. Wow, he's seen better days. He was killed recently. Be careful. Whatever it was, it might still be there. Over there. <laughs> Ooh. Why is it all ghostly looking? Because reason. Oh. It's Orion. That monster was from Or. It can't be. Not here. Not in Lion's Arch. Calm down. Have you seen one of those before? 
It's really rare. Some kind of special scout. I read about the only other sighting of one when I worked the file room. Lightbringer. That operative saw it in Fort Stalwart just before Zaitan's minions wiped out the town. Zaitan only sends them when he's about to send in his whole army. Lion's Arch is in danger. Tybalt, are you absolutely sure about this? Trust me. We need to warn the Lion Guard. Meet me at their fortress on Claw Island, and let's hope we're not too late. What's on Claw Island? The Claw Island Fortress stands in the harbor of Lion's Arch. It's the last defense against invasion from the sea. If Zaitan's going to attack the city, its minions will have to fight their way past the fort. Dun dun dun. Mm -hmm. Okay, which of these do I want? Um, they're actually all worse anyway, so I'll just take those. Make it quick. Not going to lie, Baldwin Cleaver, this spooks me. Think about what happened uh, with Fatok. Tok Chuck uh, and the script. What if that happens in Lion's Arch? We won't let that happen. What's Claw Island? The Lion Guard Fortress created as a fr first line of defense against an Orion invasion. They need to know what's coming. It belongs to the Lion Guard? Yeah, the Watch Commander Talon runs the operation. He's a tough son of a cuss, but an even uh, but ever loyal to Lion's Arch. You've seen one of these creatures before. Seen? No, but I've read about it in my research as an analyst before I ventured into the field. Oh, we should hurry. And okay. Mhm. Mm Going to Claw Island. This is the part of the story that I caught up to with uh, with my other oh, character. Really? You've not yep. done this yet, though, have you? That's right, that's why I'm yeah. not on her, because yeah. I, I don't want to advance her story. Yeah, because then you can see it all from their perspective. Yep. Alright then, so we I think we have to go across the bay. I decided to put the Juggernaut skin on, mm -hmm. my, uh, on my Raptor for now, since I don't have any other good skins for this character. I'll have to see what comes out. That's not fair, you want a death metal raptor? You gotta play Guild Wars then. It's down there, I think. Yeah, here it is. Got you in a gaming mood? Gonna go do your dailies? Excellent. Nice. And we we are Claw Island. The creature we found hadn't been in Lion's Arch Lord. Welcome back, Deepus. We still have time. We have to find the Watch Commander and convince him to ready the defenses. This fortress is huge. Hello, I've never seen it up close before. Maybe nah. Who am I kidding? The Risen are ready for this place. The Orions wouldn't be attacking if they didn't think uh, they could swarm the island. We'd better hurry. What food did you get? Anything nice? I smell something odd. Do you smell it? Smell? No. But the back of my neck keeps itching for some reason. I don't like this. Something's definitely wrong. That's very rude. You know, we, we just arrived and she's like, I smell something funny. Like, okay, fine. I'll take a bath later. Don't go judging. I'm trying to save the world here. Don't have time for hygiene. Trahern! Trees! Treases! Necromancer? Comes through here every oh, that's right, he's a necro. That guy yeah. creeps me out. 
fellow necro boy. Change your pants, man. <laughs> I've changed them like five times today as I've unlocked new ones. <laughs> I will search the situation extensively. The Orions will strike here on Claw Island. Okay, cool. What's up? No, well, I'm not trying to talk to you, Tybalt. There we go. Thank you for meeting with us, Watch Commander Talon. We have grave news. One of Zaitan's minions... Grave, huh? We destroyed it, but the creature is likely scouting for a much bigger force. <laughs> An attack is imminent. Mm -hmm. That's extremely unlikely. We've seen no sign of an impending attack. If there was to be one, we'd know of it. Tybalt left, Paul. It is you, my friend. I should have known your order would be aware of the danger. I use Streamlabs OBS. Odds and gears, it's Traherne. We're lucky you're on the island. Convince this guy that we're serious. First, let me introduce you to my partner. One of the truest and most loyal friends I've ever had. Oh. Lightbringer, this is Traherne, one of the Silvari Firstborn. He's Tyria's foremost scholar on Zaitan and Orr, and a friend of the Order. A fleet of dead ships has launched from the Straits of Devastation. The risen sail beneath a cloak of stealth. Whatever you've seen, it can't be a real threat. Claw Island can withstand any assault. Speak with my commanders, Drac and Mira. Once you review our defenses, you'll realize there's nothing to fear. Look at me, Traherne. I'm out and about on a mission. <laughs> Field agent at last. Congratulations, Tybalt. I know how much you wanted that. You should get out from under all those books and join us. You're starting to look all wilted. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll accompany you on your rounds. It's been a while since I've toured the fortress. I love Tybalt. He's a really good character. I think he's one of my favorite now of all the different order characters you get to hang out with. He's brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so let me have a quick chit chat with him. This is an ill wind uh, that comes from the south, and I fear it heralds the end of Lion's Arch. There must be some way to make Talon believe us. Talon is an excellent commander, but he's set in his ways. He doesn't want to think something might change. He'll come around. How bad do you think it is? Extremely. My research implies there's a massive migration of Risen coming northward, sailing their dead ships on an unnatural wind. What could that mean? I don't know, but the clouds above them are too dark and impenetrable to see the whole of the threat. We'll have to place our trust in our weapons. Okay. What's up? I'm trying to talk to Talon again. Inspect our defenses, look at our uh, munitions. I tell you, we're ready for anything. There's no need to worry. What's the history of the island? It was in 1237, just after the city was rebuilt, that Commodore Cob uh, Cobia, I can't remember how to say that, uh, Mariner, and his first mate, uh, Psychox, turned the island into a fortress. Why did they do that? They saw what Orion invasions did to Port Noble and Port Stalwart. Uh, someone had to stand their ground, and it's worked ever since. Absolutely, the defenses are virtually impenetrable. Nothing more than an undead shark or the occasional zombie gets past us. Okay. Apart from, like, you know, the hordes of them that are out there in some of the other zones, but that's cool. How many times has the fortress been attacked? Countless. We have six major attacks under my watch, and that's only in the last four years. What kinds of creatures are you trained to handle? Anything. Risen from ore, zombies, abominations, rotting flesh beasts, we even take on dead ships. Not dragons, though, right? Dragons? You mean like Zaitan or one of his champions? No, no, they don't come to Lion's Arch. Okay. Yes, yeah, zombie sharks, Alchemist. There are, there are zombie sharks. Actually, one of my minions, um, I, I unlocked the uh, Flesh Golem in my leveling up for, like, the elite skill, the zero skill. And yeah. on land, it's like a big hulking creature with a horn in its head, but un underwater, it looks like a risen shark. Nice. Pretty, it's pretty cool. How well do you know Traherne? I respect him a great deal. He often visits when we find some new kind of Risen. He studies it and tells us how to kill it. Has he ever been wrong about an attack? 
Traherne is a scholar, not a soldier. I don't tell him his business, and he doesn't tell me mine. That didn't really answer my question. <laughs> yeah. It's like, has he ever been wrong? No? Okay, then. <laughs> right, so... Don't mind I... me, I'm just hanging out with my guy here. Oh, now he's running with me. He's my guy now. No, he's mine. <laughs> Come with me, Treezers. You got Zombie 2 on DVD, there's a scene where the zombies fight the shark. Oh my god, that sounds trashy and I love it. Undead coming in under stealth. Be on alert. The Orions are planning a major attack against Four Island. Tell the watch commander Talon that the gunnery emplacements are ready. The fortress here on Claw Island houses more 24 pounders than a ship of the line. Your power flows be ready to fight the Orions. Don't doubt that. Check on Deputy Mira. She's in charge of the beach patrols. The Lion Guard don't understand. This won't be a sortie. It'll be a massacre. Wanna say it's an Italian zombie film and it's pretty brutal? Cool. So many minions. <laughs> it's unreal. Yes, you do. <laughs> How many do I have? Let's count them off now. I've got, uh, let's see, two bone minions, a bone fiend, so that's three, four, blood fiend, shadow fiend makes five, the flesh golem makes six. Oh, do you remember those little um, other things that kept popping in and out of existence while we were running about? Those other types yes. of like putrid horrors. Apparently, I can have up to five of those. It's part of my build. Which one was it? Poison Nova, I think. No, Necromantic Corruption. It's one of these. And the uh, movie shows some chick's eye gets slowly gouged out with a bit of wood. Oh, God, ow! <clears throat> yeah, which one is it? Let's. I'm just trying to find it, but it can summon up to five of them every time I kill an enemy. They then pop into like existence for a few minutes and help fight, and then disappear mm -hmm. again. So I can have up to five of those as well, <laughs> in the middle of like when when the shit hits the fan. So that's pretty good. Welcome to Beach Patrol, the most dangerous duty on Claw Island. Deputy, a massive attack is on its way from Orr. You must prepare your troops. If we fall, our last order is to light those three signal towers. We have to warn of course you love Arch it. <laughs> if the fortress is lost. In a hundred years, they've never once been lit. We're very proud of that. Deputy Mira, sound the alarm. There are undead on the beach. If an invasion's really coming, we'll need everyone on the island to hold the line. Blood looks so fake. It's like a bright red, almost pink colour. Oh god. You said the attack would be significant. It was a feint. They're testing your defenses. More will come, and soon. Makes sense. Report to Watch Commander Talon, and tell the men to be ready. I have studied Orion creatures for 25 years. All my life... So basically they're using paint for blood. <laughs> the commander will listen to us now. While you were running away, Tern was talking. Is he? Oh. Yep. Oops. He has period. He has periodic lines as you run back. Even with all my research, we still know so little about defeating them. It's from the 60s or the 70s. Oh, really? Damn. That's some old zombie movies. I didn't realize they made them that far back. There will be more, much more. 
Keep watching the sea. You're a scholar, not a general. Because it's standing way over there. Over there, I know. <laughs> He's totally aloof. The fortress is under attack. Ready on the wall. Hostiles incoming. They come. It's the Flying Dutchman! <laughs> Davy Jones has come! Ew. Okay. Now the fun begins. Yes. I remember not enjoying the Claw Island stuff. <laughs> but that was with a ranger. This guy, seem, uh, this Necro build, seems to just melt enemies really quickly, so... Maybe it will be nicer? Let's see. Plus you've got a friend along. Yes, that's true. I had to do this on my own as my uh, ranger if I... Well, I didn't have to, but I did it on my own. Night of the Living Dead was 1968, wow. Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> I, always, I always have a sense that those movies are more from like the 80s. Oh, fair enough then. We're supposed to go and find Deputy Mira. Oh right, yeah. It was White Zombie. That was 1932. My goodness. If you haven't watched it, you should watch Zomboat as a Shaun of the Dead vibe. Oh god. Zomboat. Let me guess, is it about zombies on a boat? Or is it about a boat that is actually a zombie? Alright, regroup with the commander inside the walls. Are you coming? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're just having fun killing all the. I'm just killing resin. Yeah. <laughs> Destroy them all. Kill them. <laughs> well, like I say, you know, when you went through this the first time, you're like, oh my god, I hate the resin. I hate the resin. Yeah. And then you get to, then you get to Heart of Thorns, and you're like, can I have the resin back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just you're just enjoying it now. You didn't realize how much you enjoyed it until you lost it. Yeah. yeah. Sir, and a lot of good soldiers with them. We have to light the watchtowers. Let lion charts think we've lost? <laughs> no, Mira, not yet. Claw Islands would stood much worse. Get on a trebuchet. Dead ship in the harbor holds their reinforcements. Sink it! Use the trebuchet against the dead ship. Cool. It's a British series about people trying to outrun the zombie apocalypse on a long boat. Nice. That sounds really good. I'm very bad at the same time. Oh, 
Alright then, so, turn. Get a good range in, so halfway. How far does that go? Way overshooting. Actually, no, that was, that was under. You do realize you're supposed to hit the ship, right? Yes, I know. Smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking. Mm -hmm. It's hard to gauge its distance because it's in the fog. That's my excuse and I'm sticking like to it. Story. Mm -hmm. There we go, I think we got it. But it's got to be maximum uh, energy bar thing. Maximum power. It's not actually taking any damage. The heck? Let's see, how far in does that go? That looks like it's going right behind it. Oh my god. Right, that's 75% power. Is this gonna hit? Well, it flings whale carcasses our way. No, 75% was too short. Somewhere about there. Maybe Matt just sucks at catapults. This is true. Let's try there. Nope. Oh my god. Got it. There you go. Yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> now do it ten more times. And there goes the trebuchet. Oh well. Regroup with the commander. Hi, Moo! Great We're scene. playing Shaun of the Dead? <laughs> kind of, yeah. I mean, we have zombies here, so... We're playing Baldwin of the Dead. That's my character's name. And there he goes, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs>